search for the intruder, huh. calling herself the Savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest security This be your judgment. Got... Got a sword? No, that's not what I'm after, you know? And if you don't know, then get out of here. No unauthorized parties... Boring. I will 
fight evil. for breakfast. They're conducting a search for the intruder calling herself to describe his rest. She has rope totally covered her head and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest hit. Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the Savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest security.
they're conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the Savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest security. What good would that do? You can't teach me how to sing again, can you? You forgot how to sing? My voice is just gone. I can't hold a note anymore. Are you sure you're not sick or something? My heart may be. The cruel bastard, he left me. And you think he took your voice with him? You don't understand what it is to perform, do you? He's not just my lover. He's written all my best hits. We were an unbeatable partnership. But then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. I don't understand at all. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. My word is good, I promise. Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's no danger he'd fall for you and forget about me. Don't hate me if he does fall for me. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Do I make myself clear? Anyway, his name is Birdie. He's the kindest, most gentle man in the whole city. He should be easy to find in a sea of undesirable men. That's really not much of a lead, but I'm willing to help you out. What prompted you to take on such a strange job? I don't know. I think this city must be getting to me. Uh. Be careful the around Olga. The Lord She's a bit of a diva if you couldn't tell. I strung an arrow. If you can help her find her voice again, in the city. she'll be able to put on her show. That'll draw big crowds and it might end up distracting the palace guard. The savior. She has rose-colored hair. And hey, why are you running from me? I just want to talk. Uh, I don't know any Olga. To the nearest um, security I mean... It doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know anything else about her? Like, where her missing lover is? Oh, I can't keep this secret for any longer. I just can't. I have to confess it to someone, and it might as well be you. I'm her lost lover. Is this your idea of a joke? No, it's true, I swear. My name is Birdie. You know, the songwriter? I promised her my undying love, but now I don't dare face her. I unwittingly lost the 354th song I wrote for her. Wait a minute. Did you say 354? That's a lot of songs. Well, you know, I had a few centuries. You didn't run out of ideas? Ideas come easy. I picture my Olga, and the melodies just come to me fully formed, as if from another world. Huh. Better to be lucky than good, I guess. But a dark cloud has blotted out the sun of our radiant love in the form of a frightful monster that suddenly attacked me and stole that song away. Which, incidentally, brings me to the favor I want to ask. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Why don't you spell it out for me, just to be sure? Well, I was thinking that you could get my music back from- I'd give you a reward. You and Olga, neither of you mind asking strangers for favors, do you? Hey, what? 
thank you. I can finally return to Olga and present... Where have you been all this time? Don't you realize that people were actually worried? Olga, my love, be still my beating heart. To hear your dulcet tones again, it's a dream come true. Oh, it was very clever of me to ask for your help. Thank you for bringing Birdie back safe and sound. We artists are cursed with sensitive souls and our hearts are easily broken. So that's how you treat sensitive souls, huh? If you're talking about the way I speak to Birdie, everything I say comes from love. In any case, I owe you a favor. Olga shall sing for you. It's your favorite song, or so I'm told. How would you know my favorite song? It's not a bad song, it has its moments. But it doesn't compare to the sublime melodies that Birdie writes. Is he really as good as you say he is? Absolutely. Of course, I'd never tell him that. His head is already big enough as it is. Now I have a song to sing for an audience of one. I hope you feel grateful. This is a very, very rare treat, you know. Normally I only sing for Birdie or a paying audience, and I assure you, tickets to my shows are not cheap. Um, thanks, but tell me one thing. How do you know my favorite song? Who did you talk to to find out? A young girl called herself Lumina. Now, Evans, if you would. Right. It's always been her favorite. I wonder if she can hear it. <laughs> 